Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about journal and ledger. So let's start. The very first thing what we have to revise is the traditional classification of accounts. For personal account, what do we learn? Debit the receiver and credit the giver. For real account, debit what comes in, credit what goes out and for nominal, all the expense and losses will be debited and all the incomes and gains will be credited. These things we have already revised in the basics of accountancy. The next part what we had to learn is modern classification of accounts where asset, expenses, losses and drawings will be debited if they are increased and will be credited if they are decreased. Again, capital, liability, reserves, revenue, income and provision are just opposite of that. When they are increased, it will be credited and when they are decreased, it will be debited. Now, moving to the next concept. Trade discount and cash discount we will learn in the further questions when and as they will come. The two main things what we had to learn today was first is journal and second was ledger. See journal and ledger both are books. So you can say journal is a book of original entry and ledger is a principal book principal book understand like this whatever transaction takes place in the business for example they purchased a furniture purchased goods or sold some goods paid some expenses paid rent or you received the income, you received interest income, you received commission income, whatsoever, everything will be written in the journal. You can say the meaning of journal as it is a day book. Day book, it means whatever transaction takes place in a particular day will be written in journal. Now, if I am saying it is a book, understand it like this, just to give a presentation of this. It is a particular book. In this, you will write every day whatever transactions are happening on daily basis in a chronological manner. Which manner? Chronological manner. What does it mean? As and when the transaction takes place, you have to write that one by one. Suppose per you purchased goods in morning, then you have to write that. After that, whatever transaction takes place, that you will write after that only. It is you cannot change the order of the transaction taking place. Now. First, we will learn the format of putting entries in this book. See, this book is called as journal. When you enter data in journal, it is called as journal entry. In your question, they will mention pass the journal entry or they will say journalize these transactions. Now, learning the important parts, see. The first thing is date. Date tells us the date of transaction. Particulars will tell you what account should be debited, which account should be credited. This is debit, this is credit side, this is the format of journal. Now, what is ledger? LF means ledger folio that we will discuss after understanding ledger. Understand? Ledger is again a book. It is a principal book. What is the difference between both? In journal, you will write journal entry like whatever transaction taking place, you will write it one by one. In ledger, what will happen? You will prepare specific accounts. For example, suppose on the first page, you are preparing cash account. And then on the next page, suppose you are preparing uh, say bank account. We will learn about the preparation. I am just telling you. This is the page number one, page number two. What will happen in ledger? You prepare accounts in journal. You pass journal entry. The wordings are like this. You record the transaction in journal. Then you post those journals into ledger accounts. Now understand what is the format for ledger? Suppose this is the ledger for cash account. So you will write here cash account. This will be the credit side and this will be the debit side. Now, first will be the date of transaction, then particulars, 
JF means journal folio. Now understand what is JF and LF. These are basically concepts we must know, but they are rarely being asked in the exam. Now, LF means ledger folio and JF means journal folio. Now, why journal folio and ledger folio? In journal, you write ledger folio to connect it with the page number of ledger that if suppose there is any entry written here, a person wants to know that in ledger where is this entry coming. So, he will go to the ledger and he will find that in this page number in that ledger you will find this entry. Again in ledger same thing when you are writing here anything suppose here you are writing to RAM account. Then here the page number is written 41. So, what will happen? You will go in the journal book take out page number 41 and there you will find this particular journal entry. Now, moving forward, we will move to the questions. The first question is, Ram brought following as capital. What all did Ram bring? Kindly understand. First is cash, then he brought the building, then he brought the computer, then he brought the check. Now understand, very important. Ram brought four things for his capital. What all? Cash, building, computer and a check. Now what will happen? Understand this, cash, we have already learnt that cash or building or computer or check, these all are real accounts. Now what we learnt as the formula there that in real accounts, they all are coming in. It means you will write debit, what? comes in. So, what will you write here? First thing coming in is cash account very good. So, you will write cash account debit. What is the next thing? After cash account the next thing is building cash account debit then building account debit then computer account debit then check check means you can directly write bank account that in bank you brought money now understand these four things we brought for what for our capital so you will transfer this everything to rams capital account amounts are 70000 rupees 4 lakh 50,000, 60,000 and then 3 lakh, the total of which will come to 8 lakh 80,000. One thing you have to remember that the debit side should always match with the credit side. If it is not matching, it means you have done something wrong. This is the format. One addition to this is you have to write the narration. What is narration? You just have to write here what have you written in the journal entry for example you will write here being capital introduced by ram rupees 880000 you can say it is basically writing the question again nothing new just you have to mention it the only part you have to be careful is always mention being before writing anything. Now, after this, what we will learn? We will prepare the ledger accounts. Now, the first ledger account we have to prepare is, say we, we are starting with Ram's capital account. This is credit side, this is debit side. Now, understand one thing. We know that whenever capital increases, what will we do? If capital is increasing, you will credit it and when capital is decreasing, we will debit it. So, remember one thing, wherever the increasing is like for capital, it is on the credit side, you will write the opening balance. In this question, opening balance is not given, but we must know that if opening balance is there, you have to write it by balance BD, where it is increasing on the credit side. So, our opening balance will come on this side, credit side itself it is decreasing here. If here is the opening balance, 
opening balance then here you will write by balance carried down whatever amount is here this is called as closing balance of the account closing balance means what is the total balance in the capital account minus debit side for example suppose if i am writing here what all money is coming in the capital c first coming is by cash account then you will write by building account then by computer then by bank account when these all money are coming you have to post it the amount will be as 70000 450000 60000 and 3 lakh rupees the total of this side you have to mention here in the by balance carried down and that will become your eight lakh eighty thousand. Always remember, in ledger you have to mention the total of both the sides. Total of both the sides. Now, moving forward, then we will prepare the different accounts. What is the first account here? Cash account. Then we will prepare building account. After that we have to prepare computer and bank. First we will begin with cash. Cash debit, credit, debit, credit. What is the important thing to remember? See, in capital account, when it was increasing, we know that it will be debited if it increasing. So balance also came this side opening balance. But remember for asset, cash is asset and it will increase. If it increases, we will debit it. So remember the sign will change here, increase here, decrease here and therefore you will write your balance opening balance here to balance BD. Here will come the opening balance. Why? Because this is a set. Building is also a set for the firm or for the business. Now writing here. What is the first entry? Cash account debit to I, How will we read this entry while posting to ledger C? Cash account debit to Rams Capital. Then we will go to cash account and we will write to Rams Capital. How much money? 70,000. Please understand this very very important from the journal entry you have to see that cash account is debited for 70,000 rupees. Cash account is debited for 70,000 rupees therefore in cash account you will write 70,000 rupees only. You will not write 8 like 80 only 70,000. The name will be 2 Rams capital. So here I will write 2 Rams capital account. After writing this. If the opening balance is coming here, you will write here the closing balance by balance carried down whatever is the closing balance. In this case, you can say the 70,000 rupees, you can write the closing balance. Unless it is given in the question opening balance, closing balance, you are not supposed to write it. I am just writing because we have to learn where the opening balance come for asset, where the closing balances are coming. Now, doing one more thing, it is exact same for building also. Just remember this. Opening balance will come here because debit side increasing, credit side decreasing. So same as cash account and here also you will write 2 rams capital account and the amount is 4,50,000 and then you have to mention the total of this. Now moving to the next question. Cash withdrawn by Ram for personal purpose. Now understand this. You have to remember when cash was introduced by Ram as capital, what we used to write? Cash account debit to Ram's capital. Now when Ram is withdrawing, what will you say? You will say, sir, just do the reciprocal. It means Ram's capital account to cash. If I will write that, it means I can say 
to cash account the only thing here is you cannot write ram's capital account debit you will use the account drawings sir why are we using the word drawings see we are creating a new account called as drawing account which means whatever amount or whatever stock or anything what ram is taking out of the business for his personal use then we have to write everything into drawing account how business thinks is business says whatever you are drawing for entire year you write everything in the drawings account then at the end of the year we will transfer the total of drawings into capital account and we will remove that balance so everything withdrawn by the proprietor withdrawn by the owner here our owner is ram whatever he is withdrawing write that everything into drawings account so i will write here drawings account debit to cash how much 15000 15000 sir are we supposed to write narration for each and every journal entry yes sir now you will write here being cash withdrawn by ram for personal use or you can write personal purpose also it is not a problem now cash account we already knew how to prepare i am preparing here drawings account drawings account also credit debit if it is increasing right here debit side increase credit side decrease now you will say drawings account debit to cash see how the journal entry is posted into ledger you will understand drawings account debit to cash this is how the journal entry is posted now to cash how much is the amount 15000 15000 that's it that is what we are supposed to do now moving further see in point number 2 what we learned cash withdrawn by ram for personal purposes what are we withdrawing sir we are withdrawing cash suppose if we are withdrawing anything else if we are withdrawing furniture what will you write you will write drawings account debit to furniture sir suppose we are withdrawing table what will we write drawings account debit to table sir what if we are withdrawing stock okay if we are withdrawing some stock out of our company what will we write see drawings account uh, goods withdrawn by ram for personal purposes what will you write you are withdrawing if you are withdrawing it means drawings account debit 55000 to which account if we are withdrawing cash drawings to cash if we are withdrawing money from bank drawings to bank if you are withdrawing furniture drawings to furniture if you are withdrawing goods you will write drawings account debit to not goods you will write purchases account but sir why we are writing purchases understand this whenever we are talking about goods purchased or the we have returned anything you will use the account called as purchase account we are not preparing goods account we are preparing the account named by purchases purchases means you have purchased goods only now drawings account debit to purchase 55000 and 55000 next you will write the narration and narration is being goods withdrawn by ram for personal use now moving further drawings to purchases we have to learn purchase account write it purchase account credit see the name is purchase account but you can understand purchase of what goods and goods are our asset so assets are debited when they are increased and here decreased so you can write here drawings account to purchase so it will come here by drawings account by drawings account how much 55000 that's it now moving to the next part received loan of rupees 1 lakh now what is happening 
See, suppose the proprietor goes to the bank and he asks for a loan of rupees one lakh. What will the banker say? Banker will give you one lakh rupees and you will come home. It is not that easy. Banker will say, I am giving you one lakh rupees now. In future, you will repay me. It means we are getting two things now. First thing we got is cash, and second thing we got is liability, or you can say I got cash of one lakh, and banker gave me a liability or an obligation, or you can say it is my duty to pay back that one lakh rupees in the future. Correct. So you are getting cash, and then you are getting a liability also that in future you have to pay back that money. Now what will you write? See. your cash is increasing and your liability is also increasing so when cash is increasing we all know that sir cash is increasing we all know that cash is asset and when asset increases what do we do we debit the asset so i will write cash account debit to received loan so you will write loan account because loan is your liability to loan account how much 1 lakh and 1 lakh you can write here cash or bank also it is not a problem in many journal entries if it is not mentioned exactly cash then you can write anything cash or bank it is not a problem your marks will not be reduced now you will write the narration here being loan taken rupees 1 lakh now preparing the loan account loan account first tell me loan is our asset or liability sir loan is our liability only then what is asset sir cash you received that was your asset okay liability credit debit if it is liability so it will increase in the credit side you have to write and if decrease so debit side so you will write here by cash account how much 1 lakh rupees simple okay now moving further amount transfer to fixed deposit account now what is happening here understand i went to the bank in my bank account no there are already 10 lakh rupees okay now when i went to the bank i told the banker see i have 10 lakh rupees in my account you transfer 2 lakh rupees to fixed deposit account so he said that i have to transfer from your bank account to fixed deposit 2 lakh rupees i said correct so now we have to understand in my fixed deposit account the money will increase but in my regular bank account the money will decrease correct see both are my money only no so i can say both are for me they are assets only one asset is increasing one asset is decreasing so when fd is increasing you will write whenever the asset increases what do we write fixed deposit account debit one asset is decreasing so when asset decreases credit to bank account how much 2 lakhs 2 lakhs now what will you write in the narration very simple just you have to write the question only being amount transferred to fixed deposit rupees i have written short form because i have a little space constraint do not write the short forms okay now preparing the fixed deposit account fixed deposit account credit debit we know that fixed deposit account is our asset so debit side when increases credit side when decreases you will write fixed deposit account to bank from journal it becomes very easy to write the ledger fixed deposit to bank how much 2 lakhs that's it now moving further to the next question deposited 30000 rupees 
cash into the bank account again we have two assets one is cash another is bank both are our money only so we will say that my cash balance is reducing but my bank balance will increase if both are asset you will say bank is increasing so bank account will be debited to cash account because cash is reducing 30000 and here also 30000 what will be the narration you will write being cash deposited into bank account that's it now remember this entry is also called as contra entry now moving further the next is cash withdrawn from bank account see very simple when you have deposited money what will you write being bank account debit to cash if deposited money deposited 30000 cash into bank account what did you write bank to cash now you are withdrawing money from bank account what will you write you will write cash to bank it will just become reciprocal now cash account debit to bank why cash account debit to bank account because my cash balance will increase and my bank balance will reduce 18000 and 18000 now going to the next question okay from here on is the relating to purchase is this we will be covering in the next video please revise whatever we have done till now and then watch the next video for the journal entries which are related to the purchases thank you so much